When was weird swimwear worn? Let's talk about that. Good mythical summer! What we have worn and when while wading our bodies in bodies of water can reveal surprising things about cultural views on modesty through time, including questions that still persist today. For instance, when did men free the nipple? Mm. And will women escape their nipple prisons ever? Only time will tell. It's time for Gear Eye with Two Straight Guys, Swimwear Edition. Each round, we're going to meet a new swimwear model and attempt to guess which decade their style was invented, and then we'll make that guess through the timeless sport of shuffleboarding. Shuffle it's timeless. Yes, whoever gets closest to the correct decade gets the points, and the point values will increase by one point each round. Oh, the loser at the end of this thing is going to have to wear one of the swimsuits that we're about to meet around the office for an Instagram video. Let's shuffle. Round one. Let's meet our first model. Well, hello, sir. What's your name? I'm Peter, and I'm a sad ghost boy that drowned at sea. <laughs> You're a sad ghost boy? Yes, I drowned and was una unable to fulfill my destiny. Which is? Oh, you know, just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, look okay. at th thank look you, at, Peter. Look at this That's, swimsuit. It, is that a belt, Peter? Yes, it helps keep my pants aloft. <laughs> it doesn't seem like pants. That, it seems like he's wearing a like a sweater that's morphed. It's into a sweater that a sweater that was attached. Covers your man bits with a belt. Yes. I do not want beachgoers to see my ghost penis. <laughs> okay, all right, I get it. Okay. I get it. All right. Uh, okay, wow. so you won last time. Yeah. So that means I'm going to go second, because the guy going second has a little bit of an advantage, so. <clears throat> all right, oh, and we got these nice fish bowls down here. Of course we do. Got a little ocean situation. What's your thought process here? Um, this is from a long time ago, but like I said in the intro, the nipples are free. So I, th I don't think this is like 20s or 30s. I don't know when the men nipple was freed, honestly. But mm. this is not 50s. I think this is 1940. Mm. Okay. So I'm going to give Go it a on shot. Going for 40. Come on. Oh, a little short. They, those are heavy. Watch <clears throat> yourself. So I was thinking exactly the same thing. What I wanted to do. Feels good to think like me, doesn't it? I was, well. From time to time, I wanted to split 1920 and 1940 because, man, I think you're in exactly the most strategic spot because I think it's either 20s, 30s, or 40s, and you're right between all of them. Are you going to try to blast me into the so beach balls? I'm going to find out what happens when you hit somebody else's bowl. Oh, snap. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot of bounce. You're in 50, and I'm in 60. Okay. Woo! All right, Hans, or whatever your name is. Peter, and I am a sad ghost boy that drowned at I, sea. I remember that. Okay, I was just what, resetting What decade case. is your swimsuit from? I'm wearing the first iteration of the Speedo, or swimming briefs, which marked the first era in modern time when it became acceptable for men to be shirtless in public. This look was popularized by hunky leading men of the 1930s. Ooh, oh, okay, was it was the 30s. Love that belt. And I am closer. Yeah, you get the point. Round two. All right, this round's worth two points. Let's meet our model. Wow. Hi. Look at those bandana. What's your name? <laughs> I'm Georgina. My butt knows three languages, and I'm your new mom. You're going to be living with me? Oh, yeah. Okay. How do you, how do you feel about your bathing suit? I feel really good about it. Check out my mixtape on SoundCloud. Oh, you're working it. Mm. Okay, um, so hmm. that seems a little deceptive because modern woman, modern woman who's into SoundCloud. So she's just right. wearing an older bathing suit. The bathing suit is is kind of simple. It's a one piece that feels like uh, a two piece. I hate you to know what I'm I hate to do this, but I feel like just we have to get all the details. Yeah. Did you think that thing's fun? Because it doesn't. Yeah, Sadi. Because I think that tells you a lot about All right, now when this was acceptable. Let's go back. I mean, that that looks, looks, there's that a looks, lot. There's a lot of skin here. That looks painful. I'm cold. All right, Rhett, you're going to go first. Hmm. Wow, okay, man. Two points up for grabs. All right, so first thing I'll say is I feel like we are 
squarely in the 60s or 70s, right? Because it has a little bit of a 60s vibe with the bandana that feels 60s and 60s was like free love. It was time to put a thong on and... But I don't know if they went that far in the 60s. I think they may have waited to the 70s to show that much back. I'm going to try to hit the 70s, but on the far side. Passing the 70s okay, and well, you're in the 50s. I basically just split the difference. Okay. Pro probably not a great. I don't know if I'm over influenced by the fact that it's just black in color, but that leads me away from 60s and 70s where uh, you think about different colors and patterns and whatnot. I actually think this is 80s. Basically, I'm gonna try to knock you off the back corner in the 60s, putting me in the 80s. Give you a little run for your money here. Oh, nice! Wow, you did exactly what right. you tried. Okay, girl, tell us, a, <laughs> tell us where your suit's from. I'm wearing a thong bodysuit invented by scandalous and iconic designer Rudy Gernrich and intended as a unisex style. This took off what? in Brazil unisex. and other South American countries in the 1970s. Oh, oh wow, okay, so it was the 70s. I, I feel like, I mean, I'm a little bit closer this way. Yeah, I don't. I don't think there's any way you could be closer to the. 70s. You barely pulled it off. I'll give you two more points. Round three. Now we're up to three points for this round. Who do we got? I am Georgina, and I did not kill that pool boy. We didn't think you did. We were, you know, why? Don't be so defensive about I it. I did not. He bludgeoned himself with my old volleyball trophy. You, <laughs> you weren't even a suspect. Just... I wasn't around. I was at the cinema. I'm just saying, the more you talk about it, the more you seem to be incriminating Listen, yourself. Listen, people bludgeon themselves with my own volleyball okay. trophies a lot. It happens, okay? Where are you from, Georgina? I can't say. <laughs> I'm under police investigation. <laughs> really? Yes. All I right. can appear on YouTube videos, but I cannot say where I'm from. <laughs> it's an odd legal loophole. Okay, so I'm up, so that means I go first. Oh, yeah, first you're up. To give you... Uh, Little advantage That's here. That's right, because I am losing. I uh, can tie it up now, though. Again, I don't know if I'm being overly influenced by the pattern, but this feels 60s to me. That's all the way in the back of the board. I mean, this is still in style. I mean, this has been in style since then and right, continues there, to be. There's not a lot of specificity except this little dangle dangle thing here. I don't know what, what that, what's the meaning of that. Well, tassels, I think tassels is a very 60s thing. Shuffle away, man. Um, I'm gonna try to lodge myself right up there against the back. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, 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 we're getting a good bounce, which is a new addition to the game this time. I actually think that this is 90s, almost 2000. Okay. I just think it doesn't seem special or interesting to me because I've just been so familiar with it. Uh. So as long as I go on this side of your bowl, I'm good to go. So I'm gonna nestle against your bowl Slightly on the far side. Stop! Yes, perfect! All right, Georgina, where's your suit from? I'm wearing the first string bikini invented by Louis Rayard, who named it Bikini after Bikini Atoll, the location of the first public nuclear bomb test. Presumably because this look was only for bombshells. So uh. naturally it was invented in... The 1940s. Oh, we were Here's really Here's a oh, photo. Ooh, 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 1940s? Okay, Link, you are closer Woo! to 1940s. But we were both horribly wrong. I'll take the points and tie it up. Round four. All right, this round's worth four points. Who do we have here? <laughs> Hi, questions. I'm Carly. I feel passionate about freeing the nipple because all nipples deserve to be raised range-free on large organic farms. Okay. Are you definitely a, putting your money where your mouth is. Or, are you a reader? She's just wearing glasses, right? Yeah, I just finished <laughs> the latest Simone at? de Beauvoir. I'm only looking at her That's head. That's good, you're looking I'm at the glasses. Only neck up, only neck up. I, I'm gonna go first because uh, even though we're tied, uh, you I'm won a the, gentleman. You won the last I game. I won the last. So. Um, man, this is... This is tough. This is some French Riviera stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Uh-huh, mm -hmm. This is like, I don't know when they started being so free over there. I actually think I'm going for the 60s. Mm, okay. Has that been an answer? I hope not. 
Dang, I don't know. I'm just going to go for the middle of the board then. Okay. That was an audible if, if I've ever seen one. <laughs> In my middle. Gosh! <laughs> middle of the board, you mean the middle of the entire board. <laughs> Sometimes. It's so heavy. Sometimes that happens, man. Uh, well, you know. You know what? Knock me forward, my, man. My, my reasoning doesn't even really matter at this point. Uh, but I was actually thinking. Dang it. I was thinking the 60s as well because that was the free love thing. But maybe overseas, it was really getting free. You know what I'm saying? Because the bottom is actually rather conservative. No belly button. You know what I'm saying? It's like, well, we can, we, we'll just show the nips. So, again, all I have to do is get beyond you. Gosh, But man. my official guest, actually, doesn't matter. hold on, no, you know what? I don't have to get beyond you, because if it's the 30s. That's right, I could beat you. So I just need to get beyond you, but not too far beyond you. What, a, what an exciting round. <laughs> <laughs> it's called strategy. All right, uh, where's your suit from? Or at least the bottom half of it. This is the monokini. This is also an invention of Rudi Gernreich. It's representative of the massive countercultural changes of the 1960s. Yeah. Although I was right about the year, you get the four points. Woo! Round, round five. five. Okay, last Woo. round worth five points, so it's anybody's game. Let's meet our last model. Uh, two of them. I'm Oval. And I'm Oa. Oh, and we bury <laughs> your keys. Is that right? What was your name again, sir? Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm down I'm with, with the, the sickness. sickness. <laughs> Are you guys farmers? Yes, yes we, we love, love to, to farm rutabagas. Oh, okay, wow. What is happening? <laughs> I think they don't know what they're going to say and they're figuring out together. You like together. to speak in unison? We fused in, in our mother's, mother's womb. womb. Oh, your brother and sister. That's interesting. That's great. All right, Rhett, I went first last time. Uh, you're in the lead. You go first now. Okay. What are you learning? Uh, well, this farming sibling uh, couple, I don't really understand. I definitely remember seeing this V pattern in like lots of things from the 80s. So the first thing I'll say is that I know that this was worn in the 80s, but this is when it was invented. So it may have been invented in the 70s. Are you sure it wasn't invented by Borat? Uh, Borat did popularize it. Uh, 70s and the 80s are really far apart. I feel better about the 80s. I may be handing you the game. Maybe it's more strategic to land closer to the 70s and then create a situation where you've got to move me. I'm gonna land, you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit the 40s and see what happens. Oh, good. Whoa! Good move, man. Um, yeah, I, I'm guessing 80s. So I'm gonna try to pass you by. Why don't you just try to hit me? Because then you'll get closer to the 80s. And I wanna win. I don't wanna wear that swimsuit around the office. Okay. Think I, you think I do? <laughs> Boing, 80s, yes! Okay, it's a good All one. All right, couple, it tell us. Where you're from. We're, We're wearing, wearing a sling suit, suit or a suspender, suspender suit. suit. While, While this, this was popularized in the mid 2000s by the, by the iconic Borat, it's actually from the mid 90s. 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 Oh man. Which I, means I am a little you bit are, closer. You are closer. Man. Woo! So I win. Congratulations, Link. It looks like I'll be wearing one of these, not one of those. <laughs> for a day, just go on Instagram and find out which one I'm gonna wear. Or maybe one of those. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Now you guys say you know what time it is. You know what time it is. Hello, I'm Morgan. And I'm Bailey. And we're in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. I think she was in a grapefruit. Daniel? Click the top link to watch us go through a 99 cent store pool toy haul. Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. Stick to what you love and stick our pins on things you love. Collect all three Mythical Enamel pins now at mythical.store.